Wow, what a difference a week makes. Should we take a look? Hi everyone, it's Neil from Neil's Reef Aquarium. Hope you're all having a good week. So, um, yeah, it's been a good week. Can't really moan really. Um, uh, let's, should we take a look? I haven't put a filter on, so um, so which you, excuse the blues, but um, but yeah, everything seems to be doing really well. Obviously, I've taken the torch out from last week, um, and uh, I think I know what actually killed it, and uh, I'm going to show you that in a minute. So uh, we'll have a look at that clip. But yeah, the, the other torch is doing absolutely fine. Um, no problem with that. That you know the hammer's looking great. Uh, the uh, candy cane there is obviously dying anyway, but it's still a bit of green, so I can't bring myself to take it out yet. Um, the GSP's looking all right. The Favia was, wasn't looking great anyway. But I'm really, really um, happy with how, how everything's going. Um, we're we're going to have a look at the parameters in a bit as well. But the Zoa Garden is, uh, you know, they've really opened up. Um, they are reaching a bit for light, but we knew about that anyway. Um, but no, I'm really happy with how it's all looking. Um, I mean, they're all open. They're all really happy. Um, you, you know, he doesn't look happy. He is happy. <laughs> um, but the Goniaporas, as you can see there, that green one is is really starting to... Um, hasn't come out completely. Because like I said on the previous one, it's usually the same size as this. It was in the LFS. But that seems to be looking really well. as uh, the Bicolor Blenny's photo bombing. Um, the uh, the rock flower nem is moved a bit from the corner there. If you have a look there, it's moved, so it's on the move at the moment. Um, so uh, we'll have to see where he goes. Uh, but no, really, really happy. Obviously, it was you know a bit of a rubbish video because I'd lost corals and um, I was a bit worried about what was happening. The tank parameters were you know all over the place, but it's really stabled. Um, so uh, you know, really happy with how things are going. We've done a, we've done another water change today. We're going to look at the parameters in a minute, um, but really, really happy uh, with how it's all gone. Um, and uh, but yeah, can't really moan now. I mean, I'm going to have a look at this clip because I basically I'm going to show you what I think happened to that torch. Now, if you watch that clip I'm, I'm about to put on, it was one I took in the middle of the week, and then I realised what had actually happened. So watch this clip and I'll come back to you. And I think we've just found what killed my torch. It's a massive fermented snail. And you can see there, I've just noticed it now, as you can see, obviously the snail's dead. Uh, the, sorry, the snail, the, uh, the torch, but look, look at that. Maybe, I'm not saying it is that, but look, it's, uh, it's a beast. Maybe that's. I always said it got stung. Maybe it was something with that that was called cool, irritated it, and uh, yeah, that could be it. So um, interesting. But look, I mean, I oh, know. Sorry for the picture. I know it's not very clear. Glass needs cleaning. It is middle of the week, but yeah, potentially that could be it. So as you can see, it was a vermited snail. So, so but obviously, with the torch was so big, you c I couldn't see what was happening behind it, and there was that big vermited snail there, which was obviously irritating. I could always tell something was irritating that that torch, and I, you know, kind of, I was thinking maybe it wasn't the parameters because, like everyone was saying in the comments, the goniopora was looking fine, everything else was looking fine apart from that torch. So it was like something had stung it. Now those sweeper tentacles, they go really big, but there's no way they would have reached down there. Um, but it, I'm pretty sure it was that vermited snail that was just really irritating it to the point it's actually killed it. Um, so, uh, but you can see from the video, it's quite a long, I mean, I do see them, but that was quite a thick, long, I don't know, whatever you call it, but it was, I'm pretty sure that's what killed it. And obviously I looked at the high, you know, the, you know, the, 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 um, nutrients were really high there that I think the you know, nitrates were over 50 last week, but, um, we're going to have a look at them now and then we'll have a, a and, and you'll see what I mean, but I'm, I, I'm really happy with it this week. 
So here we are. So the nitrates are 25. Now they are still a bit high, but I have since done another water change, and that that will uh, I may do another one in the week, so that will come down. Uh, pH was eight, so that's fine. Phosphate 0 0.08. Again, I'm all right with that. That's usually where it sits at. It's still a bit high, but it's not the end of the world. Uh, calcium 450. Salinity 33.4. It's a bit bit low but um oh, i've done a extra salty one today water change that should bring that back up uh alkalinity 7.3 and magnesium 1400 so um overall really happy with those parameters you know compared to how they were last week if we go back on to last week's we have a look and it was you know 50 ph uh was 8.01 phosphate was 0 0.03 but i think that was wrong i'm starting to get used to that salifer kit by the way now um you know i don't know if it uh, this week i could clearly see it was what it was and um divided it by three and it gave me 0 0.08 um i mean the calcium was all you know over 500 alkalinity was fine actually mag 1480 but um but no a a absolutely fine so uh if we can keep them relatively like this maybe if we ideally we want nitrates probably around i'll be happy around 10 i think 10 a fair f uh, you know fair um parameter for for nitrate some people prefer them lower but to be honest when you look at what i've got here like the uh the zoa gardens i know they the gsp they all like quite high nutrients um but the goniopora is the one that's that's the most temperamental and if that seems happy then you know it can't be too bad in there so uh but yeah just a quick update this week just to um just to show you that one and uh yeah i'll come back to me and we'll have a quick chat yeah, so, um, you know, it's nice to actually have more of a positive video compared to last week when it was it was all over the place. Um, and, uh, you know, I was, I was feeling proper depressed about it. You know what it's like in this hobby when, when you've had a bad week, you've had a bad week. And I know there's a few other people, uh, you know, my YouTube friends that have had a bad week as well. So um, hopefully they'll sort their things out, their tanks out as well. Um, but I want to say a massive, massive thank you to so many of you. I mean, I, the last week's videos had a lot of views compared to my, my normal ones. Um, but there's been so much support, and I can't, I can't name you all because you know there's been so many messages. But some really, really good advice from you all. So thank you so, so much. You know, you know this hobby is a big community, and you can't do it without you know, people like yourself. So you've all been really, really supportive. Um, so thank you so much. Really good advice. And I have taken a lot, nearly all the advice that you lot have given me. Um, and uh, it's really helped me get it back to where it is. So big thank you out to all, you, um, to all of you. And also my new subscribers. I mean, I've had uh, about 50 odd new subscribers since since the last video. So, you know, welcome to the channel. Um, you know, uh, as you can see from that one, if that was your first video, um, you know, we, we have, if you look back on the previous videos, we do have ups and downs. Um, but it's like I said, and I'll say it to you guys, and obviously my regular subscribers will I, they'll probably hear it from me every week. But, you know, the idea is for, with this channel is to follow me on my journey on this reef in on this reef tank, which is nearly two years old now. Um, and just for every week, I'm just going to do an update of the tank, whether it's not much like this week. There's not really much to go on, but just give you an update of how the tank's getting on, how the parameters are looking for that week. And then obviously we've got some real fun stuff coming up on this channel soon. Um, uh, we've got, uh, you know, something called the Ocean Project. I'm going to go more on to that um, at a later date, but it's, uh, it's something really exciting um, for me anyway. Um, and uh, for, 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 for the guy who's going to be uh, doing it. Um, but I'm not going to go too much more. Uh, but it's going to be really good when there's we've got a lot of tours coming up and I'm going to come on to that at a later date. So make sure you hit that bell notification so you are notified every week when I um, upload. And thank you so much for your support. It's been brilliant. But um, yeah, it's looking good again. We can keep this tank stable for the next few weeks. We can start to add some more corals. We were starting to add them on a weekly basis again. But we had a bit of a setback. And you do get setbacks in this uh, in this hobby. Um, but it's, you know, it's just, you, you just got to get through it. And uh, the advice from, you know, great um, uh, subscribers like yourselves, you know, I've got a lot more knowledge than I have in this uh, hobby. Um, so it's really good that I've got you guys there because I couldn't do it without you. So thank you so much. 
And that's it for me this week. So uh, thank you, and I will see you lot next week. See ya. Thank you.